Um, this was an experience where I was seeing a movie. At uh, first, it started out in the personal self home. Um, I came down into the living room area and I saw the father and I saw the sister. Uh, usually those forms are used by the golden guides when they're trying to give me little hints or little um, helpful uh, guidance in certain things. Um, and anyways, when I came into this uh, this living area in the downstairs, uh, I seen a movie that was made about Paul Twitchell. And it contained a story that was wrote about Rebazar. Uh, it was a story written about uh, Rebazar, uh, written by Paul. And the story went that Rebazar took a necklace made of bead and stone to a jeweler. Uh, the jeweler agreed to appraise it and give it a value. And he realized quickly that the stone used in the necklace was not from their region at all. Uh, something almost like extraterrestrial. But beside its supposed value, the way the necklace was laid or layered was a code that the jeweler uh, was to figure out. And I could see it was a hint for his real awareness a real hint was being given to him through a seemingly random endeavor. Uh, the stone itself, they were in the shape of almost what looked like hearts, but kind of like rough hearts. But when you touched them, they would uh, separate into all these different layers. And I could see that the jeweler had an intent to become more aware. So Rebazar had brought him this necklace, not for its value, but for something for him to get a, a hint to wake up. And this is my little view on it. I said, uh, this points, the way that I see this is that it points to our creative abilities. Uh, the jeweler seemed to be uh, realistically ready to take a real step on his wake-up journey, but was his personal self willing or able to recognize something if it is, if it is just said to him? So Rebazar showing us how to use a means which someone is familiar with and set it up in a way that there is a real benefit for them that they can recognize. I see the jeweler as the business world too. Uh, the stones as the earth, the earth is a business world and get and utilizing that. Despite the way it's been set up, uh, we can come in and provide something that makes sense, not just in the business world, but in any way. Yeah, in any way, hence the uh, final scene of looking past the necklace and at the cliff's face and into the sky where the sun was shining. And that was kind of the final scene. The jeweler took the necklace in his hands. And as he was kind of appraising it and he realized that there was some kind of secret code or something that caught his interest, basically, um, started making him ask questions. Uh, I remember looking past uh, the necklace at a cliff face and then past the cliff into the sky and seeing the sun shining. Um, and that was the experience, but I just wanted to touch on that, that, you know, uh, in the business world and in anything, um, it's been said before, but we utilize kind of what people are into and we kind of bring it around to something that they can recognize because telling them kind of outright, uh, you know, like uh, just giving them the information, even if it's a real reference, they might not be able to make heads or tails of it. But I could see that, you know, by him providing something for the jeweler to look at, something that the jeweler could relate to, uh, he was actually able to um, bring it around to where it actually helped him with his real awareness. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. Yeah, that's very good, Jeremy, because that's the idea uh, of all the groups that I've written from the books till now. And uh, as we've gone through the years here, and especially with Ava, the last 10 years on Facebook, uh, that's the idea of the groups. As we started creating groups and images and whatever, utilizing different ways that people relate to and then from there uh you know uh seeing if they'll take the next step so that's the idea of the sun the sun is the best reference to something more than just creation but some people think that you know we're focusing on the sun no it's a reference that's all it is it's the best reference because it always shines and it's sincerely always shining so that's a start that's all it's a reference the true reality life is is invisible to the senses cannot be considered and must be seen and recognized for what it is and that's huge and so it would seem as though it does not exist but it's all not everything everything is creation these are things that we deal with we do the baby toy stuff here uh, like the uh, children with blocks or whatever until we learn to see and recognize what's real more so than creation itself 
and even the imagination can contain that. And yes, uh, that's a that's a cool little experience because again, yes, it's relating to the business world in, in certain ways, and that's what I'm doing with what I'm doing with the business world too, facing all the governments, etc. Uh, in the same vein, I use different uh, different ways to uh, meet them head on to where they will listen, you know, to something that makes sense instead of the senseless nonsense that they're doing that looks good to the public, but the unaware public supports them and is supporting their own demise and they don't see it. And so this is happening very, very rapidly and has for the longest time because they don't know what else to do. They don't have the awareness. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Jeremy. Great. Thank you.